Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Video bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Audio bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full length CD listening parties. Download it free at winamp.com slash Android. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads and Mattis writer Dick T. Bartolo. This is episode 1387, recorded October 23rd, 2012. I love the smell of Sky Mall in the morning. And now, get ready for Dick. Hey, everybody, wake up! It's time for the Giz Wiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte of Twit TV. It's time for the Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Wiz now. Now! It's time for the Gizwiz, the Dumb Show, with Mr. Smarty Pants, Dick T. Bartolo. Hello. Uh, uh, Leo, how you doing? I am I am so excited, Dick. And why is that? Because Are you taking that up all day stuff? <laughs> I ordered, and maybe I, you know, Jason Howell, our producer, maybe I did this on the air. We could go back and review the tape because I ordered the iPhone helicopter that was. Oh, the, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the I crap remember. we bought yeah. on Sky yeah, Mall yeah, yeah, last yeah. week. And maybe I put an extra zero in because I thought I'd get one. I've got <laughs> ten of them. I what? Are you serious? Two hundred dollars worth of iPhone helicopters. Oh my! God. Okay, well I, I can tell you right now, I actually wasn't here for that episode. That was the day That's that I was fault. out. So apparently, I didn't do Jammer some checking. Jammer B, you were here, right? <laughs> Well, review that tape because uh, I. Well, you know what I think we're going to do. I mean, I mean, you have ten of those. Ten. That's crazy. We're gonna. We'll use it. We're gonna have an armada. Yeah. So <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the entire Twit staff to fly these around. It'd be great. We could have like we could attack. Nice. Or I could give them away. Or yeah, we could have I helicopter like war. You want to have helicopter wars? Is it All right. Droid is it droid compatible? No. It's only for iPhones. Oh, uh, Jammer no, B, says, you can use it. a slingshot for yours. It's probably joy. Mota, M-O-T-A, toys.com. It says iPhone, iPod, Touch, and iPad, although we looked on the uh, uh, App Store and it isn't on the iPad. But <laughs> it has, anyway, we'll show it later because it's it, we're just charging right now, but it's the crap I bought from Sky Mall. And then we have, boy, we have a slate of great new products. But that's later in the show. That's later. It doesn't even really have anything to do with the show. No, it has a lot to do with it's the show. It's just something you, it's, a, it's this kind of a sop that you threw me, a little something, a little crumb from the table of the Gizwiz that you threw me so that I'd have something to do. Because really, this show is about you, and it's rightly so. Mad well, Magazine's I'm glad. maddest I'm glad. writer. And, and you know, we had the meetup this weekend. Oh, how did that go at the Boat Basin? At the Boat Basin Cafe. And, you know, you always, before Sky Mall came into the picture, you would always threaten to do the two by four. Now, somebody, Jason's going to cut to my close-up camera because someone, <laughs> through the meetup, <laughs> brought me a two oh, by four. That's a nice one. Yes, and I'll tell you why it's a nice one. Nice. Because this two by four... <laughs> Oh, it's from it, the boardwalk on Coney Island. Yes. Unfortunately, to people who love the boardwalk, parts of it are being replaced with a cement boardwalk. That's not a boardwalk. It's a concrete it's a walk. It's a cement walk. Yeah, yeah. it's a concrete walk. Uh, so someone uh, brought me uh, this two by four, authentic two by four. And Leah, the funny thing was, I'm going to take that out. Um, I bought beer for everybody who showed up. And uh, John, the manager there, said, y you know, what should I, how about buckets of beer? And I'll put in all different assorted beers that you might like. And so I said, yeah, great. So I'm not a huge beer drinker, but Dennis came over and said, I got, got this great beer. I think you'll like the taste of it. So I tasted it and uh, I said, no, I, li I like it. It's good. And he said, now read the label and go down to the bottom of the label <laughs> And can you see what it is it's bottled? It's from Petaluma. That's our famous Lagunitas IPA. 
That is a it, very good beer. It's what we drink yeah. here at the Brick House. Love it. it that is, but it was so amazing that of all the beers the guy would put in, one of them would be from Petaluma. Well, it's not amazing to me oh. because it's a very good beer. By the way, we also yes. are offering for a small amount of money. We are replacing the floor in the Brick House with cement, and anybody who wants to buy commemorative two by fours. Oh, oh yeah! Only five hundred dollars so limited why edition. So many employees have been sort of just vanishing <laughs> just off go, the whoa, face of the earth. right through the floor, <laughs> and then cover them with cement. So that's yeah. Yeah, I saw the basement with those mounds. I, Actually, Da Vinci Wonder in our chat room says that he's in a wheelchair and he's actually glad because the boardwalks are not very easy to navigate on a oh, wheel. okay. That makes okay. sense. That, that'll be okay. much smoother and easier. Very um, good. And apparently Myra Joyce uh, took some pictures. They're on her Facebook page. Have you seen them yet? Uh, I saw two of them. Oh, I've got more than that. Oh, okay. This is the third okay. annual Gizwiz oh, that, that meetup. Is, uh, that's Joe uh, Balanus. Is he a who, plumber? He bought food for everybody. Oh, Joe. Oh, I know Joe Bolanos. Yeah, yes, that's nice. You do, you do. Yeah, so. That's and there's great. old geek. Old This old geek, you interviewed old, him. Old geek all the way on your left. Yeah, right you there. interviewed him, I remember, on uh, the Giz Fizz. There's some flowers. Yeah. Here's some examples of things that you, uh, what is, were these? We, we gave all that stuff away. Giveaways, wow. Yeah. Including your book, I see, Good Days and it, Mad. Yeah, I still have them. No one wanted them. Oh, no, but uh, next year you have to take a book if you come. I think I'm going to do it that way. Uh, Becky. Becky. This yeah. Is, this is a challenge for you, Dick. You've got to identify these people. Uh, Eddie Bacon, who's a fan but uh, lives at the marina. He actually lives there, Eddie Bacon. Lives does. there. Yep. yep he full, says he right? won't let me add a tag, so I won't. <laughs> uh, um, so that was uh, fun. What the a, back of Dennis. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was great fun. It and was there's, great the, fun. there's the IPA. Oh, there it is. There it is. That yeah. is, by the way, it is. It, we drink a lot of uh, uh, Lagunitas. They have a little beer. If you, when you come back here, I'll take you to the beer garden. I didn't know you were a beer drinker. Uh, I, I'm, when it's very hot, I like beer. But that beer uh, in particular was, I, I found, really delicious. It's, it's one of my favorites. They also have, mm -hmm. they have a little something-something beer. That's very good. They have censored. That's, a, that's the real name of it? A little, a little something, something, something Yeah. That's our favorite. <laughs> I think we drink a lot of that here. Uh, they what? have quite a few. They have Christmas ales and all sorts of stuff. They do heavy and light. Um, no, I'll take you to the beer garden, Lagunitas Beer Garden. They have uh, performers. Uh, they actually have a little amphitheater now where they can do concerts. It's really it's a nice place. Wow. It's another. Wow. Now there are two reasons to come to Petaluma: the chicken, the eggs, and the beer. That's three. Wow! Wow! Three. Mm. Well, it looks and like and soon it was a the great trolley event. car. And soon the trolley car. There are 33 pictures on Myra's uh, Facebook page if you want to If you want to see more of these. There's actually more pictures than there were people. Is that Bronwyn? Yes. Hey, Bronwyn. East Coast girl. Yes. Yes, yes. Nice to see her. She's one of three people in the world who have a twit tattoo. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Oh, she should have showed us. Yeah. Well, I don't think she can. So I private. worked for CBS Radio. Yeah, oh, we had, it was really great. What a great group. What a great group. So what And that gentleman there uh hey, he's who, lucky. who he won, won the, the $100 tracker. helicopter. Who's the one who bought the boardwalk thing, John? Well, John, the, the nice thing. job. Yeah. You won the yeah. you won the big prize. That's the grand prize. Yeah. He's happy. And then the day after in the Daily News I read about someone falling to uh, a hole in the boardwalk at Coney Island. It said because <laughs> someone had sought a piece out. So You know what you know what I find interesting is that the number of men there who are who wear mustaches. Yeah, you know it wasn't that kind of amazing. Yeah, and and the women. <laughs> no, I bought my. There's I bought something my about uh, uh, Gizwiz fans. They're they're a they're hairy right. bunch. Yes, yes. I, I I take it as a uh, uh, a form of flattery. I think. Yeah. <laughs> you br wait a minute. You brought mustaches. I brought mustaches for all. <laughs> my meetups are they're a happening thing, Leo. Uh, wow. What fun. Yeah, it was good. Some was people good. look good uh, with little black mustaches. Yeah. They absolutely. don't make, they probably don't make stick on Dick DiBartolo handlebar mustaches. No. I would yeah. sue. I <laughs> would sue. <laughs> there they all are. <laughs> what a motley crew. That is such a motley crew. That's the, uh, the Dick DiBar. Oh my. That's the Dick, Dick DiBartolo <laughs> hair club for men get together. <laughs> yeah. Exactly.
Very nice, Dick. Yeah. And I, oh, yeah. I, well, should, I think I should wear it like this. Oh, that's good. There's all kinds here. I don't know what this is, but oh, apparently perfect. these are. it's a collection of mustache toothpicks. And they oh, do, they're very funny. They do make one that uh, matches yours. A little bit, yeah. Oh, I uh-huh. get it. You're supposed to stick this up your nose. <gasps> yeah, that's it. <laughs> wow. Lip service, fashionably dashing party picks. This is from Fred. Uh, oh, of Fred. Course. Yes. Fred. And Liz Romero. Yes. Do Come here. Nose. I don't know. Uh, that might be, that might, Liz has Liz has figured out that the best way to do this is just to uh, if you just point, put it right higher? through your lip and like that, one. then it just stays in place. Oh, just higher! Ah! <laughs> that looks painful. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Even Dick is not. He can't handle it. He's like no, no, no. It's funny because I happen to have something from. Did, did you get it? Oh, that's okay. Hey, by the uh, way, we should say hello to your guest, your in-studio guest today at Disneyland. Is my he, in-studio guest is oh, now no. on, a la- climbing, uh, on a ladder. He's climbing. climbing get down, he's sir. Cl- <laughs> he's climbing up, trying desperately to get something that I think oh, is dear. also from Fred. <laughs> and, yeah. Is it from Fred? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's from Fred also. Now, can you give me one second? This Fred and, guy really gets around. This Fred guy makes some funny stuff. Yeah. So, let me see. It's it's a, a mustache cup, like nerd, nerd. Uh, No, you yeah, gotta move your hand. I don't. Uh... <laughs> Let me go over to here, and it gives you a new nose. Oh, turns, just little... like that. Look at that. There you go. There wow. You go. That's and every every uh, nose cup. cup is different, and it's pick your own nose <laughs> drinking cup. That's really weird looking. <laughs> Fred's got a niche market. What can I tell Fred you? Fred has figured it out. Uh, pick your nose, drink. Introduce <laughs> your uh, model, would you? Our new model? No, the guy uh, is modeling the oh, nose oh, cup. So, uh, oh, um, here What's we go. What's your name, sir? Uh, Herb Florence. Uh, hi, Herb. And How Herb, are you? Herb is an IT person, was trying to figure out what was going on here, <laughs> and we could not figure it now, out. Now, Dick, don't you think it's a little bit odd that you have an IT person in there and all three of your internet connections went out at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Because when he first came in, he said, you're not going to eat anything while I'm here, are you? <laughs> I didn't get, I, I didn't get Actually, the connection. I arranged it because I wanted to have my soup, so I just said, well, oh, kill Dick's. What? I called up my friends at Time Warner and uh, it's a kill oh, Dick's said, internet. Shut it, Shut everything down. I need like 17 minutes. No, I'm going to have a drink too. Make it 19 minutes. Now, when you're at the boat basin. It looks like you did you take the people from the boat basin to your boat? Uh, I took the, well, first of all, we all walked down to my work boat because I had put the drop cam on the roof. Ah, how fun. So that people could wave to friends. Uh, then we had the meetup and then uh, uh, I would say 12 or 14 of them walked up and uh, had a look at Disneyland and the fun. back. Yeah, Dick, that's yeah. such a great thing. I, I hope you do it again next year. What a, a great little eighteen-hour meetup <laughs> <laughs> and an eighteen-hour show. If we don't get to the gadgets, what's your that's first gadget okay. of the day oh, okay. today? First gadget, you know, very soon it will be Halloween. So Think Geek has come out with the Mega Stomp Panic. Whoa! And I'm going to turn it on because I like the way this glows. So we have a lot of LED lights on here. But basically, uh, I, I disagree with them in one way. They, they said that auto stomp panic is an auto reality costume. So you don't need a costume. You just wear the, <laughs> the, the mega stomp panic. And what you do is the uh, amplifier speaker goes on your waist and the little sender goes uh, uh, onto your belt. And I'll, I'll just pick out a... a- Wow. My favorite, my favorite is rain. So every there's a little accelerometer. So, but so every step you take. So Leo, I'm thinking <laughs> of on Halloween wearing my foul weather gear and just and, go and you you bring the storm follows. I'm saying, oh, you cannot believe how wet it is outside. Wow. So. There's robot, and oh, my other favorite thing is you could be a, 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 a Donkey Kong bit. or something. Yeah. Yes. 
And it's very funny if you walk around with, with the Donkey Kong sound and just do fast turns. And it look, you know, you can pretend to be a little character in a video game. Wow. So it's very clever. And the reason I'm doing it now is that the company said that they only got one shipment in and one Halloween. That's a good day. So you could, like, be a stomping guy like a Hulk or a robot or... What's neat is the accelerometer means that when you stomp, it actually makes that stomping sound. That's a kind of a neat exactly. idea. And, and there, there is a secondary function to every sound effect. So if you're the stomping guy, yeah. then if you stop and really put your foot down, you'll hear things shatter like your foot went through. <laughs> but now, now, let me ask you, how good is that? It's hard for us to tell, but is, it, is the sound kind of realistic? It sounds a little tinny. Is it tinny? No, you know, it, it's not. Uh, it's not tinny in person. I think it's fairly decent because it, it's not a bad speaker. Here's the gunslinger sound. I, I, on the, uh, so the you could, like, head. if you pull your... Oh, I see. So the key is you got to stomp to make the sound. So you pull your gun, which is just your fingers, but then if you stomp, it goes boom. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. And then if, cool. if you're... Uh, you're kind of a uh, like a four-year-old uh, gunslinger who's really angry. <laughs> That's exactly... Yeah. Exactly. So $39.99, uh, uh, think geek. You know, I, it, doesn't, it, I, it didn't work out well. I got stuff from Sky Mall. You get stuff from Think Geek. We got, I got to we got to do a flip flop here. Can I do crap I got from Think Geek and you can do Sky Mall? Well, you know, I've done everything in the Sky Mall catalog. You actually so have. I, I, I had to move on. I had to move on. <laughs> you had to think move on. Geek. It's funny because before every show, if you watch live, you know this. We we ask the chat room for suggestions, and uh, you know, in some of the worst stuff you've ever seen, like the magic wand remote control, and Dick goes, "Oh no, we did that." Oh, yeah, we did that. Oh, no, no, we can't do that one. We did that one. So you have done most of these. Yeah, exactly. But but, but good news. I found worse crap than ever before, so. Oh, great. (laughs) Basically, these are things that even Dick wouldn't do, is what I'm going to do. Yeah, Yeah. that's right. All right. That's the title for the segment. (laughs) Things that even Dick wouldn't do. What else you got, Mr. D? Uh, well, you know, I went to the New York Pet Expo this week. We're going to do uh, two doggy gadgets. And I have a little video to introduce the spot here. So Jason can just run the video. And it solves the, the problem. Of- Mads Man is trying to end the giz whiz. You know what this is? This is pet peek. You know, you have a fence in the backyard and your dog is trying to peek out. My dog Fairway tries to look in between the little slats. Well, you don't have to with Pet Peek because it's a porthole that you mount right in the fence. It's $39.95 and they're at petpeek.info. This is really neat. And I'm here at Pet, uh, the New York Pet Expo. So this clever device, the first thing that we're seeing as we walk in the door. So Dickie Bartola, Man's Man, Let's try to end the Gizwiz one take <coughs> theater here on Twit this Wait a week Wait a in minute. tech. Yes. We're going to look around and we're going to find some dog snacks. <laughs> Wait a minute. You did yes. that so fast. I don't know if our home audience or especially the audio audience has any idea what that it, is. If what, you, the, the, so, your do- okay. so I know this happens because Ozzy, I'll let him out the door and he runs to the fence and barks at it and he, like he knows there's something on the other side. Right, but it yes. just can't Dogs, get no, right. And Fairway, I have a fence to my neighbor's yard, and Fairway turns ahead sideways, trying to peek through the little like half inch opening between the. Yeah, pickets. Ozzy does it. So, so this yeah. is a porthole you cut in your fence. Exactly, a nine and a half inch acrylic porthole. So <laughs> you you just take the frame off it, use that as the template. Uh, take a jig. So there you go. Make if you a go round to petpeak.info, you can see this. Uh, Let me yeah. out. <laughs> So it's it's also it's a it's it's round. It's kind of like your dog's in a bathosphere looking out at the yes. the world beyond. It's yes. a funny funny look. But I guess for the dog, they need to stick their nose. It feels like there should be a little hole for their nose to go. Oh through. well, maybe they, you know what? Maybe they didn't want someone to stick something in back through the. I, right. I don't know. I don't know. You know, the thing is, if you had a little uh, fake doggy face, you could fill it with water and seal it, and it would look like your dog was in a submarine. Your, so. your, you know, your your neighbor will never notice 
the fact yes, that they're right. Well, no. your neighbor has to love your dog a lot, otherwise you'll be... De- Harvey! Harvey! Look what that Debot Solo did this time! There's a dog peeking through the fence! It's like, uh... Now, see, I can't do that, because I don't think my neighbors would appreciate it. Your neighbors live, what, like a half a mile away? Well, I know, but that's not, you know... Yeah. Well, you know, if you get it for Ozzy, you're going to have to get that, and then you're going to have to get a telescope. <laughs> so when he looks in there, he can see what's I going on. Master, oh, master, I can't see anything. There's nobody out there. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> it's a dome. It's a dome that it's goes dome. out of the... It's a fenced dome. A How fence much is dome. that? Yeah. They like to call it pet peeve. Oh, it's not expensive. Uh, it's it's thirty four ninety five. I think I said thirty nine in the video, but thirty four ninety five or ninety eight. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. You would now, need I, to drill a hole in the fence, though. I mean, it's I got to point that out. Uh, yeah, it should. Well, it should be your own fence. I mean, I'm not going to go down and do it in the schoolyard. Yeah, <laughs> your own your own fence. <laughs> I think we should put one, Jason, in the wall right here so we can see what's going on in the restaurant next door. Well, oh, I thought you were going to say in the restroom. I don't think <laughs> no, that was no, 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 The no, bathroom's no, right no, there, no, Leo. No, no. I'm really not that interested. No, but the, the restaurant's right through the wall. We could just go put a peeker. What are you guys cooking tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. Well, this looks good. Go over there and order it. You see, you say, oh, yeah. that looks all- Put it near the kitchen. <laughs> In that case, a, a few slots in it would actually be great because then we get the nice scent <laughs> from the restaurant. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Gadget number three. Gadget number two. Okay. So gadget. Uh, these two are, I'm considering one gadget because the next one is from the Pet Expo. Oh, and good. it's more for Ozzy. Yeah. I love pet stuff. I have to admit, I went to, I went to uh, Petco or whatever it's called. Um, uh, and I bought Ozzy, oh, so many, uh, you know, specially scented doggy poop picker-upper bags. And <laughs> yeah. they had a deal on dog food. If buy three bags, get the fourth one free. So now I have 500 pounds of dog food. <laughs> Ozzy weighs seven pounds. How, how long do you think 500 yeah. pounds? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm there with you. It is, especially in dog food. The 10-pound bag is $10. The 15-pound bag is $12. Right. The 20-pound bag is $17. Right. The 50-pound bag is... It's cheap. I know. So yeah. that, So I, I asked the lady, I said, I have a 7-pound dog. She said, oh, this keeps you for years. Yeah. What's it made no, out of? I know. I know. And, and, and Dennis is tired of putting it in the meatloaf. I said, well, Dennis, just put it in the meatloaf when we have company, if you so She picky. said that. She says it mixes up good. Add water. Okay, so let me see. What else have I... What, what okay. pet stuff do you... Oh, I okay, so we have a mini pacer dog treadmill. <laughs> and uh, so this company makes a big treadmill... But the mini pace is for dogs up to 55 pounds. Oh, folks, you got to see this video. Oh, my okay. goodness. So, so David it's, it's not a human tread, treadmill. This is just no, for no, dogs. No, for dogs only. Okay, so David Ezra, who I think is the CEO of the company, I said, so do you have a, a model dog? And he said, no, but let, let's find a dog. So people could bring their own dogs to the dog expo. And he said to this woman, is it okay if we train your dog or... or See how your dog behaves on a treadmill. And she said, okay. It happens to be a little papillon like you have. Oh, it is. And the, yeah. So the guy wow. stood it on the end of the treadmill with its stationary and started feeding him snacks. And while he's eating snacks, he puts it on very, very low. And the dog keeps eat, walking and eating snacks. And then he slowly takes the snacks away. And the dog was using the little uh, jogging machine. Um, so the guy was saying, if, you know, if you live in New York city on rainy, stormy days, you don't want to walk your dog or it's, it's 4 like a.m. in the, the morning. It's like George Jetson walking his dog on the treadmill. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, obviously you still want to take your dog out for some social uh, interaction. Um, it's not and you want to save, show it doesn't save you energy. I mean, it's more energy to get the dog to walk on the damn thing than it would be to take the dog for now, a walk. Well, I, I think once the dog gets the hang of it, 
First of all, you have 50 pounds of food there. So, I mean, you're, you're gonna, you'll end up with a 200 pound. I need to tapion. work. You need to you'll have a, burn a 200 some pound tapion, but you'll at least use a little mini pacer. Yeah. Can, has anybody made a wheel, like a hamster wheel, but for dogs? You know what? Yes. I, uh, a couple of years ago at the Pet Expo, someone had one of those, but it, it, it just kind of looked inhumane to me. It does. But, yeah. You know, the, the, the little pet jog thing is they could run off it. It has canvas sides so the dog is concentrates his effort on forward. But he could walk off it. And also, it even has an emergency stop switch like they do at the gym. You put on the dog's collar. That's a, Actually, so, you need that. That's good. Yeah, you, know, you do. Yeah. yeah. If the dog stops and, and the thing keeps going and the dog rides up to the end, it's going to shut it off. Um, so they make uh, two different models. Uh, one is for dogs up to 179 pounds, and that's uh, 499. And the mini dog pace, so the Aussie size dog <laughs> treadmill, is 479 dollars. Wouldn't it be cute if you had a, a treadmill for yourself, and then a treadmill for your dog, and you were holding the leash and you were both walking on the treadmill? That'd be cute. I think that's I think that's a photo opportunity. <laughs> A couple of really uh, innovative, that's a good word for it, innovative products from the big pet show. Show. Now, I have a third thing from the pet show, no video, but I also think this is very, very clever. This is called Animal Alarm. An and animal, animal Alarm. Yeah. So I spoke to the inventor, Victoria Davidson. She's from the UK. And she said people don't realize how fast temperatures climb inside a car. Oh, you should even never you have, leave your dog in the car. That's even terrible. if you have the window open, yeah. it doesn't really cool the car. So what you do with the animal alarm is you set a high temperature and a low temperature. You put a little SIM card in it. The company sells SIM cards or you put in your own SIM card. Uh, then you set the high or low temperature and then it will text your phone if it goes below or above whatever you set. He, <laughs> so you have to buy this a, thing a cell phone account. Uh, uh, yeah. So <laughs> I set mine up and uh, I have it on my little close-up camera here. I don't know if you can see it. So my uh, Amalom has been sending temps all day long. <laughs> Your dog. It's hot. Get him out of there. <laughs> Well, the thing is... It, or you, know, you could just not put your dog in the car. All right. Well, that's... Yes. Yes. That is also a good thing. However, I'm thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> I, you know, the, the, they, there's a, like a little courtesy SIM card in here, and I don't know how many minutes it has on it. Oh, but yeah. You could, yeah. I could put this down the boat Oh, it, next to my little water compartment. That would be that more useful. Feeds the sink. And then, Leo, you can phone it. And if you don't want it sending you the temperature, you can phone it and it'll say the temperature is this. And it also tells you how much battery life is yeah, This is good. Actually, I could use this because I do leave Burke in the car sometimes. And it'd be nice to have when I leave yeah, him in the car yeah. so it doesn't get too hot and for him. up those windows. That was <laughs> licking on the glass. He well, is, Bert, he well, Burke will lick the glass no matter what. He's... <laughs> yeah. By the way, I'm giving him a hard time because yesterday was Burke's birthday. Happy birthday, uh, Burke. Yeah, Burke McQuinn, who uh, keeps everything working here in the studios. And he's now going to break everything that I use. Yeah. That you, yeah. <laughs> hey, happy birthday, Burke. Burke, the, uh, the, the, the Gizwiz says happy birthday. He's ignoring us right now. Oh, well, okay, yeah, okay. Right. okay. He, doesn't, he doesn't know how to hook up a headset. That's a slight... <laughs> A little problem that he had. He's very good. I leave him in the car. He just keeps people away. <laughs> so right now it's uh, overseas, but they ship to the U.S. And it's uh, animalom.co.uk. So that's where they're at. I like it. I, I don't yeah. like the idea that I have to buy a SIM card for it. Maybe in the U.K. you can get like a $2 a month SIM card. Well, yeah, how else... Oh, what is that doing now? Okay. You hearing that noise? Yes. Oh, it's, okay. Is that it's, me or you? No, that was coming in over Skype. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think oh, it's the sim. You know what that is? That's the it's animal the one. Ah. Move it away. It's the SIM card yeah. and the animal one. It's texting right now. It's saying, it is. Oh, right. It is so hot. Oy, I can't, can't wait to get out of here. Now I say, 
You know, this Gizwiz is very warm. Very warm. Are you ready, yeah. my friend? I am. I'm set, pal. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. First, we're going to pick something new from Skyball. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may remember last week we had a little vote uh, on uh, some crap from Sky Mall. Here were your choices. The Great Men Wear Mustaches shirt. I thought that would have been good for Dick. The yeah. Custom Pet Canvas. I don't even remember what that was. The portable. Oh, oh, it, it was what your was that? pet in like a historical costume. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was a painting. painting. Yeah, it was a painting. Oh, I hope yeah. that wins. The portable laptop desk. Or the phone receiver bracelet. The vote are in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes! yes! Oh. Ozzy's gonna get a painting. Oh man, that was that was yeah. Wasn't even close. Fifty-eight yeah, percent of the close. votes. All three hundred and seventy-seven votes for the custom pet canvas, handily whopping the phone receiver bracelet. I don't know if that's. It's probably more a lack of interest in the other things than it is a great interest in the. But yeah. let me let me anything just, that has anything to do with Ozzy, people are going to vote for. Oh, yeah. I am so excited. <laughs> let me just show you what we'll be getting a little bit later on, Ozzy. Yeah. Custom, you know, get him painted in a suit of armor. He could be like Ozzelot. I don't get the feeling that you have much choice. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, how so, much is it? I'll tell you how much choice you have. Uh, it's uh, wait a minute. That's not it. Uh, how did I get here? Custom pet canvas. Canvas. All right, let's click that link. And here it is. And the, the only choice you get, it's $49. Oh. The only oh, choice you no, get no choice. is male or female. Because you I think you, he's either going to be Napoleon <laughs> yeah. or he's going to be Whistler's mother. I think that's the choice. So, But, oh. but you, that's the actual picture of the dog, right? So you send them. I have to get send them a snapshot of Ozzy's head, and we are going to hang this up. Did you just the, do this with a magazine? Yeah, it's probably pretty <laughs> easy to do. I got it with Photoshop. <laughs> Don't you have a museum anywhere nearby that you can just <laughs> you just kind of break pick, into at night? Just steal it and put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably yeah, not Whistler, that complicated. Get a, get a painting of Whistler's mother and put Ozzy's head on it. But this is the reason we're doing this. Wow, yes. they also have a pop art canvas, but that's a hundred dollars. Oh. It, it, the reason we're doing this is because we want to review it. We want to test how yes, good it is. Is this kind of thing now? Boy, that's why is that a hundred bucks, and and the other one is just fifty bucks. That just shows you how much more popular modern art is. Than, well, there, there's four dogs. Oh, there's four there. pictures of the dog. Yeah, it's that Marilyn one Monroe, Andy the dog Warhol. The <laughs> Plus, they have but to save up. But you know what? This for... looks like it's easier to make than the forty-nine dollars. <laughs> I know this one at least looks like there was some painting involved. Yeah, exactly. It might be by numbers, but uh, but we'll find out how good that's going to look. Yeah. Thank you. I feel like I've just been voted a great present. Of course, I have to order it. Yeah, and Ozzy has to paint it. Oh, did they tell you it's paint by number? <laughs> paint by... It's it's called <laughs> pour by number. So Ozzy comes with a little paintbrush. <laughs> oh dear! All right, are you ready to vote for the next item? Yes. All what, right. What, what are the choices? Oh, the choices are fabulous, and we did ask our um, we did ask our fabulous chat room to make some suggestions. <laughs> and here's what they pick. Starting with this, the swivel seat cushion it's gold violin item 91052 on sky mall oh, getting wow. in and out of your car is so much easier with the swiveling action of this portable seat cushion it turns a full 360 degrees so you don't have to twist and strain your lower backs or hips padded for Wait. comfort on long trips non-slip backing keeps it securely in place it supports 250 pounds well, if it turns 360 degrees, you're in the same place you were before you sat on it. <laughs> it's so a turntable for your car. <laughs> okay. That's just okay. one of many choices. Okay, fine. Does it play records? Uh, no. Okay. This one's even weirder. It's called the Hikurol Hiccup Stick. It's a Sky Mall Collection RSY101. Safe and simple to use for children and adults. The Hikurol Hiccup Stick is the world's first tool that instantly stops hiccups. Simply place horizontally in the mouth, gently bite down, and drink a cup of water. 
It's safe and simple to use for adults and children. Comes with a convenient carrying case. For nineteen ninety nine, you get three sticks that you can put All in right, your I'll, mouth. I'll, okay, a little hint here. <laughs> Go to any good restaurant, order chicken satay for nineteen ninety nine. You'll have a delicious lunch, and you'll probably have five sticks. I Pretty have a feeling similar. if I order this, I'm going to get an email saying, "Are you kidding? <laughs> Nobody's ever bought this. It's you're buying three sticks, large toothpicks yeah. for twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah." How much is a box of pickup sticks? Do you get even bigger sticks and they'd be in color? The funniest thing is, uh, I think it's yeah. the water you're drinking that actually makes the difference. Yeah. That is just bizarre. That is bizarre. I, I would drink it with beer. Sky Mall Collection RSY 101. We just wanted to see if anybody would buy this crap, they say. Wow. Finally, and I'm actually pretty excited about this. From Hammaker Schlemmer, the oh, Marshmallow friends. Shooter. Now look now at this. Now you're talking. Yeah. Item 71405. This clever pump-action device shoots sweet, edible, miniature marshmallows over 30 feet. And unlike other marshmallow blasters, <laughs> there, there are other marshmallow yeah. blasters? There, yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> Actually, there are. I'll show you them. It comes oh. with an LED sight that projects a safe beam of red light to help locate a target for your accuracy. Oh, that won't get you shot by the tactical squad. You put yeah. a red you put a laser sight on your target before you shoot them with marshmallows. I that should be illegal. Anyway, the Hammerker Slimmer. Now, I just want to point out that Think Geek sells a double barreled marshmallow shooter. Whoa. Two barrels of marshmallow shooting fury, 50 marshmallows total, shoots up to 30 feet. For a lot less. <laughs> this one, the, 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 it's 25 bucks for the single-barreled marshmallow shooter on Sky Mall. It's $18 for the double-barreled, but I do have to point out that it was $35. They've marked it down. Oh. Oh, well, get the double-barreled. It looks like it's the same company, to be honest with you. It does. Yeah, it I does. think it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, double-barreled. You could put chocolate syrup in one. <laughs> I love the tagline on this yeah. one. Say hello to my sugary friend. <laughs> <laughs> does the double-barreled one have the uh, red light? No. Oh, no, it does that's not the have difference. Have that's the difference. The that's LED important. sight, the laser sight. That's you know, important. here's the deal. If you vote for this, I will order both, and, we'll, and Jason and I will have a shootout. <laughs> and we will see. We will measure to see if it goes 30 feet. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Our straw poll this week, what fresh crapola should Leo spend his hard-earned money on next for the Gizwiz Show? The marshmallow shooter, the hiccure-all hiccup stick, or the swivel seat cushion? <laughs> Go to strawpoll.me slash 4467. Let's oh, just check the early votes are coming in. 4467, 70% the marshmallow shooter, the hiccup stick 20%, 10% swivel seat cushion. But that's on the first 100 votes. You're going to have all week to vote on this. So please don't delay. Go to strawpoll.me slash 4467 to cast your vote. Thanks to Dan Dirks who created the straw poll tool. It's free for anybody who uses strawpoll.me. I love it. You got you got Mr. Flores in there as well. That's yeah. good. I did. I did. Herb didn't even know. He was watching another show on, he on a different looking. network. <laughs> he was watching The Price is Right. All right. So. So now. Now. This is what we bought last time on Sky Mall. And I must have entered a number wrong. <laughs> yes. Because I thought I was buying one of these. And apparently I've received 10 smartphone controlled helicopters. Wow. I definitely didn't order 10 of them. Now, the good news is they were only like 20 bucks, so we didn't spend a huge amount of money. But I can't, I, there's, I don't know what to do with this, Dick. I was thinking maybe we could have, like, um, we could recreate the scene from Apocalypse Now 
Oh, with, oh where they yes. do the with flight of the Valkyries. In the studio? And we could attack. Da, 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 da. I love the smell of helicopters in the morning. Um, so, actually, this. <laughs> I don't well, know. you know what? what? You know what? what? You, could, you could have. The staff launched them, yeah. and you could try to shoot them down with your marshmallow gun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Deal. That's what we'll do. You've solved the conundrum. There you go. It's basically the, these go. are skeet. So I've been charging this one the whole show. Let me just okay. show you uh, what you get. Actually, it's pretty well made. It's surprisingly well made. The helicopter is... Uh, uh, plastic, but with a metal chassis. It's a rechargeable, which I kind of like, and supposedly it works with the iPhone. Now, this is the uh, this is the uh, iPhone transmitter. So you you get a USB cable, just one, by the way, which you charge the transmitter, and then the transmitter is going to go on the iPhone. So let me just uh, open up my iPhone. Now, this is an iPhone five, so it will it goes in the audio jack right there like that. So it so it's not using any power from a. From the phone itself? Apparently not, because you do have not. to charge oh, okay, it. that's good. Okay. And, uh, and I'm going to uh, launch the application. It's called Smart Helicopter. Now, they do say it's available on the iPad. I don't see it on the iPad. So okay. uh, so there you go. And you'll get, there's the controls. Now, Ooh. yeah, pretty sweet. Now, let me, yeah. uh, we've been also charging the helicopter. So let me just unplug this from the charger. This is a USB charger. You only get one USB cable, and it is a proprietary charging cable. So, um, mm. you know, you're going to have to charge one at a time. So the helicopter's on, oh, and you can ooh, see it's, it's, lighting. it's lighting up. It's lighting up. Now, I don't know what to do now. Okay. Um, let's, let's see if I can get to spin up. Hmm. Volume maximum. Okay, volume maximum. Wait a minute. Oh, I have to. Maybe I didn't do this right. Okay. Turn up the volume and plug in the controller. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Whoops. Splash screen. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Oh, it's waterproof. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the instructions are in. Okay, splash screen. Now I've got to go back to the instructions. Uh, control interface. Rotate the screen. Light. Move motion control. Band throttle stick trimmer help. Okay. Normal control mode. Oh, it also, I can apparently do, uses motion control uh, from the accelerometer, left, right, and so forth. Wow. Right. All right. So. It does everything but actually fly. I don't, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to be. Let's, warning, please maximize the volume. Okay. Yeah, it's all the way up, sir. Um. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, at least you got 10 of them. <laughs> Look on the bright side. It really <laughs> looks well made, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. And the box is fun. Uh, it definitely lit up. Um, is there a... Seems like there should be... Um, I, you know, it may, let's try it. I have a different transmitter. I charged two of them. Okay. Let's okay, see if good. that one... Uh... Uh, yeah, it's blinking, so it must be on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoopsies. I just don't, uh, just uh, don't know what's going on here. Maybe if I read the instructions. Yeah, one of the things we found is the instructions were wrong. We couldn't figure out if it was charging, and um, it the actually instructions were, were were completely off on how to charge the thing. Right. <laughs> So we, but I think I, I think there's a little slip of paper in there that says we misspoke when we said this helicopter flies. <laughs> we meant it blinks on your table. All right. All right. Just uh, pretend it's flying, folks. Yeah, right. Just pretend it's going. Enjoy in the, air. the enjoy the view. Colors as All right. they blink so, on and off. Go to App Store, search for smart helicopter, down and install, click go, turn on the helicopter. Yes, I did. I think we know it's on. It's flickering, right? Go to eye controller interface, insert transmitter, turn on, dial phone volume to maximum, move throttle stick. I'm doing that. Trimmer adjust. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seem to be... Come on, Chad. You know how to work stuff like this. Uh, the light... Okay. Light on or off. Second. Is it's there like a standby switch? Select channel A, B, or C. Press off button to change to on. Call says, for help. You know, maybe it doesn't work with the iPhone 5. Is that possible? Oh. oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, now let's try it. You may want to stand back, Chad. 
I think I figured it out. I had my uh, silence. It was silenced. All right. Well, now let's try it. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, stand back! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> was it, huh? It went on. And now, you have, and now charge it again. And we'll do that one <laughs> more think, time. I think that's it. <laughs> Literally, I think that's it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no. oh, oh. Ow! <laughs> okay, no, it was works. It coming works. Off or was that the it whole works. Airplane? By the way, it's nice. Nope. It comes with two extra propellers and uh, two extra wings. It's just difficult. Maybe, Chad, are you good at this? I don't know. All right, well, somebody ought to be. Whoa! Okay. It's pretty if good. You're you, know, that, you know, it doesn't have it's any. Um, it's not like the. Uh, it's not like those expensive. I mean, it's only twenty bucks. Come on. It's not like those expensive ones what? that have the. Uh, off again, and it's down on the floor. <laughs> I'm just describing Whoa. the. Whoa! <laughs> and now it's up in the bridge. It's not super responsive. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow is right. Yeah. Maybe it's. Maybe it's. Uh, it only. It only has. Two Wait, positions. It... <laughs> Sit still, fly crazy. I'm not really good at this. Okay, now the light's on. This is fun. And slowly he moves Go. the throttle forward. You can do it, little buddy. Mm. And the gentle, the props it's, it's start your, turning your slowly. Oh, oh, it's line of sight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're right. It's line of sight. No wonder it doesn't work. Yeah, it's infrared. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. This is great. No, you can put that back on. It just snaps. Let me just turn it off. The... <laughs> that snaps right back on. This is actually great for 20 bucks. All right. Okay. Oh, you're doing it. Now you're doing it. And now you're not. <laughs> It's hard. It's really hard to do it right. Where'd it go? <laughs> I'm glad I got 10 of them. Let's put it in. <laughs> I do down You'll better be, than them. Yeah. But You'll that's be. my age speaking. All right. Let's see here. All right. This is this is actually quite cool. I really like this. Now, we've, and we've flown it for... I could probably just hover it, right? It's like it. It's like it suddenly gets uh, the urge to go up. I... There you go. There you. There you go. There you go. Nice done. Bring it over and trim my mustache. <laughs> this is great. I love this thing. Wow. Wow. All right. Trim the rudder. I know trim the rudder, but it doesn't... <laughs> yeah, the rudder trimmer good. is not... <laughs> and the LED lights let you find what piece of furniture it went under. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could totally use this. You could totally go somewhere with this. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, it's, no. it's, you know what? It's the infrared thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Sorry. you got it. Wow. <laughs> wow, you took off from a crash position. <laughs> this thing is so cool. I love it. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, that is fun. No, that is real fun. That's great. For 20 bucks, two thumbs up. Oh, I mean, come on. That's really? great. That's right. great. All right. All right. Oh, what's the official man. name? What's the official name of that, Leo? Um, this well, they they uh, I don't know on Sky Mall, they call it the uh, Let's see what the Sky Mall name is. On the box it says a smartphone controlled helicopter. It okay. comes from a company called Mota, M O T A Toys. Uh, and that is um, that is uh, uh, MOTATOYS.com. And this is the 6036 smartphone controlled helicopter. Now, it's, it's actually on Moda's site 50 or 60 bucks. 
So this is a Sky Mall. Uh, this is a rare occasion where Sky Mall actually has the best deal on this thing. It's twenty bucks. Well, I hope so because I bought <laughs> I bought ten of them. iPhone uh, thirty nine ninety nine. But you know, I I don't know. Did I spend that much for it? Geez, four hundred bucks really. I think I think I got them for less. Whoa, what do you? I think, think of it, it went now? up because I think I got it. Maybe for less. they. Yeah, maybe they thought you were a wholesaler when you bought ten of them. <laughs> <laughs> now it says twenty foot flying range, uh, two extra rotors, tail rotors, and a USB charger. If we're getting good, pretty good battery life on it. We've been we've been using it quite a bit. Up is down, left is right, black is white. Sky Mall has the best deal. All right, one more time. And it's and it's by the way pretty robust because I've done nothing but crash it. And it shows. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Whoa. Nice. That's going to look good in the dark, too. Oh. It's cool. <laughs> Ouch. This thing is cool. <laughs> now, you, yeah. you should obviously not use it in the studio. You should use it outside. But uh, nevertheless, having crashed it now five times, it's pretty. It's got <laughs> It's a lot of it's metal. The body's metal. <laughs> This is why they sent you 10 of them, because <laughs> they, knew. they break yeah. really quick. They knew. <laughs> uh, the software is free. It runs on the iPhone. Uh, what do you think? It's pretty sturdy. It does not have a tiny yeah, pilot. Nice. I like, I it. like I it. it. I think this is kind of fun. There it is. The, 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 uh, and, and uh, you know, it comes with extra wings, but I haven't yet uh, broken anything. All of it seems like it's still intact. Little weights there. This is cool. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I... Uh, it's also all the light in here is making it hard to control because of the infrared. So it is, that's something important to note. It's infrared, not RF. So it's line of sight. These little transmitters go right on the iPhone. Uh, so if you use it outdoors, that doesn't affect infrared? If it's bright uh, sun? I don't know. I think uh, it doesn't. It, oh, so it won't work outside either. 3D Monkey said, yeah, you want to use it kind of, basically you want it to be the dark when you're using okay. it. Okay. Right, not in a light room, not outdoors, <laughs> in a dark room. I why just yourself? wonder it, uh, if it says in here. <laughs> and it comes with a little screwdriver, too, which I thought was neat. Uh, oh, that's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is, you know, for the price, no, I think that's good. pretty good. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. It's good. I'm happy. It, it does, uh, does not say iPhone 4, iPhone 5 on the box, but it does work fine with uh, all versions of the uh, iPhone, it says. And the iPod Touch... I don't know about iPad. I guess you'd have to use the iPhone version on the iPad. That would probably work fine. All right. It doesn't Very suck. Good. Very good. <laughs> it doesn't suck. You can, Feld says, you could just go out and get a radio-controlled version. You wouldn't need an iPhone. And it would work uh, It would work in the uh, outside as well. But I think uh, this is fun. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get a bunch of them. And uh, maybe we'll have a little, uh, little uh, assault... On the uh, I still oh uh, yeah with the marshmallow gun don't forget that <laughs> yeah we could attack the restaurant next door yeah wouldn't it be if we really got good at it we could go crazy could so, is there anybody here who's good at RC stuff Burke are you good at this stuff so I, I want to give it to somebody who can really make this thing sing Liz <laughs> Liz is volunteering all right. Okay. All right. No, I gonna... think she said she, you were looking for someone to sing. <laughs> so send her back to her desk. We'll continue the vote. We'll let you know what uh, next week's uh, pick is. Next week, we will be going out and ordering a custom painting of Ozzy uh, for uh, a future uh, episode. Actually, it will have to be for the next week, won't it? Do we have? I don't even know if we have something for next week yet. Well, we have a whole week for it to come, right? <laughs> The helmet. That, Hasn't the helmet come? Oh, yeah, the, all, right. all, all the bets are helmet. on the Sunwave helmet. Yeah, that'll be the next thing. Yeah, the helmet. We'll have to get Liz to demonstrate that. Okay. Uh, now, that means, since I've concluded the SkyMall portion of the show, it's time to take a little walk. I always like to, after we visit SkyMall, I also I always like to go outside, put on my trench coat, my scarf, my fedora, and, and stroll down memory lane. Hang a left at the Avenue of Broken Dreams. Say hello to the Heartbreak Hotel as I walk by. And pretty soon, before too long, I find myself smack dab in front of Dick's Gadget Warehouse. 
They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, ha -ha! he takes them out to play. Ho -ho! It is Gadget's Warehouse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Dickie D. It's taking off on its Don't own. Don't mind that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> wow. I'm getting good it at it. comes with its yeah, own you are. soundtrack. You have to constantly monitor altitude. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> but for that very reason... <laughs> Dick, what do you got for us today? Okay, our Gadget Warehouse this week is, again, a great video from one of our viewers. And after the video, I'll tell you how you can submit your video uh, to the Gizwiz show. Uh, this is via Lance Seidman, who has a gadget from the 1970s. So, Lance, tell us all about it. Hey, Leo. Hey, Dick. Lance here from Las Vegas. Uh, don't know why I rose my hand like I was going to be talking in class, but I did it just for you. Nonetheless, I have this little device here. Um, obviously, I invented it. <laughs> Probably back in the 70s. I mean, because, <laughs> you know, radio is great, right? Except for Saturdays. Radio is awesome. Yes! And Sundays. Uh, but anyway, except the Gizwiz isn't on Sundays. It's okay. I like Tuesday. But but anyways, what do we have here? Just looks like a Walkman, right? Old-fashioned, and you got your old-fashioned tape, right? Well, this isn't, actually. This is basically, yeah, a Walkman. You could play regular cassettes, right? But if you take already knows, Leo, good chance you do, too. Well, you have two inputs for uh, headphones. But anyways, uh, you have your power on, off, and you have your regular buttons, radio, tape. Uh, but how does this have a radio? I mean, this is old. I mean really old uh, but it's made by Toshiba it's metal and they really want you to know um, and here you have your DC uh, 6 volt input or you can have batteries and it requires a lot of batteries but nonetheless you take this sucker and what is this exactly this is actually an FM tuner oh. that's right it has a little contacts in the back here which you got to keep clean otherwise it's not going to work properly but nonetheless uh, here is the dial to go up and down to tune the radio, which I'll show you in a moment. And then you have stereo or mono. So, really, it's not too old, but uh, nonetheless, plus it's handheld. Uh, but it is amazing. It is literally an FM tuner that you put in this. Well, at the time, it was considered really portable, obviously. Uh, but so let's go ahead and put this in here. I had one of these. And there's a little lock, you know, because... Maybe you know. Tell me. Uh, anyways, so you close it, and there's a little hole right here to switch up and down to choose uh, what radio station. Um, this isn't the best room for testing. I don't have a lot of audio equipment in here, and um, let's go upstairs to the 5.1. Now we'll go over here. Here's what we need. Our receiver, as you see, just a normal receiver. And so now we have the side of the device. As you see, we have the play button, the stop button, the volume control, which is old school. Now we just do a digital or side button, which we press up and down. This is, you know, really old. And again, here's a better view of uh, the dial here, you know. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so let's go see this in action. And so you see, we simply have it hooked up with two RCA and plug it in the phono, as seen. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, turn on and uh, press play. Make sure the audio is very low because this can get very loud. So we'll go ahead and slowly turn up the volume. As you hear, it's static. And that's it for the Toshiba Stereo Cassette Player, uh, <laughs> model KT81. Wow. So oh, I'm works. sorry about the ER, but that hey, that is great. You know, yeah. the guy's got 
maybe five thousand dollars worth of stereo equipment. <laughs> but I'm glad he finally added some radio to that thing. Yeah, exactly. So is exactly. that a <laughs> just the helicopter just decided to go. Sorry, I should turn it off. <laughs> is that um, a Walkman with a stereo radio module? Yes, but I, I, yes. yes, but I believe that it it had to be set up so that there was a radio option on the cassette player. I, I don't know if you could take oh, that there would and have put to be. Yeah, put, stick it in any in any. I see. But I, I remember you when that one. first came out, I thought this is really great. <laughs> well, although then a year later they thought, why don't we just put the tuner right in the uh, <laughs> in the player itself? Wow! But it's, it's very uh, yeah, and it goes back a long time. Uh, so Lance, thanks so much for that. If you have a video that you want to submit to the Gizwiz, our standards are lower than that helicopter when it crashes. <laughs> uh, so just um, looking for three things. I bought a piece of crap. If you bought something that you hated, like um, a helicopter. No, but Leo loves the helicopter. I'm loving I invented, this. Yeah. I invented this. Next week, we're going to have an I invented this video. Oh, good. That's or fun. My Gadget Warehouse, something that you bought years and years ago, and for some bizarre reason, you uh, can't part with it. Just shoot a little video, two, three minutes tops. Uh, post it on YouTube and send Jason, our esteemed producer, uh, an email. And the address is gizwiz at twit.tv. And uh, unless it's deplorable and awful, we'll, well, if it's deplorable and awful, we'll still show especially it. Especially. So, it's yeah, especially. <laughs> would, it be a, it would it be a notch up to the rest of the <laughs> show? Yeah. So well, that was uh, nice. post a Thank video you. on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, uh, and it's always fun to see fans and uh, where they are, what they're doing. He had a nice Denon receiver, by the way. Very, yeah, he had a, set, a pretty good stereo system there, so that was kind of yeah. Cool. And you could tell he was in Vegas because it, whatever room we were in, it had chandeliers <laughs> and oh yeah, plush. <laughs> amazing. Very very cool. Well, I think it's time yes. if you've got the theme for the letters. I, yeah, never heard this one before. This is the punk version. Oh, head, little head banging letters. <laughs> wow, funny? yeah. Dan Luters, he could do any style. No so kidding. What, you got a letter yeah. for us, Dick? I do, and it's going to reply uh, require Jason to go to the close up camera when I after I read it. Mike Wills says you guys were talking about items that hadn't changed in years. Remember mm. the Braddock device, Leo? Yes. Oh. The guy invented one thing that is still used still like in, in the 20s. It's still to measure your stuff. shoes, your feet measure for your shoes. shoes. Yeah. Uh, so Mike says, my uncle's camp stove toaster <laughs> is older than I am. I'm wow. 32. But the box nor the toaster has changed since he bought his and he still uses it. It is the camp uh, toaster that still cost four dollars and ninety five cents. Wow. Jason, you have a shot of it here, and this is well, it's oh, made out of hangers. Oh yeah, well no, it's stainless. Oh, it's right. stainless. REI still sells it for under five bucks. Oh, I see. You put, I the, you put the toast. You lean the toast up against those wires. Oh, against you can do four slices then, at a time, and then the heat of the campfire. Yeah, or the little sterno stove. I used to put it over a little sterno stove. And you could actually make toast. And you, you know, after it was done, you just turn the toast around. But it's kind of interesting that something lives on all these years that is later. very cool. You know, we actually have a celebrity in the chat room uh, today, Dick. Really? Yes. Speaking of inventions, Web 1077. His grandfather invented something I think we've all used. The self-centering stool at McDonald's. Really? The self-centering stool? Yes. Haven't you ever noticed that when you get on a McDonald's stool and you sit down and you turn and swivel around and you get up, it goes back? Self-centers? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, nice. Web, That's... In whatever number in our chat room invented. Yes. His grandfather. I hope he didn't sell the patent to that. I hope you're, I hope you're living off of that. <laughs> That's a nice little nest egg. That is clever. From well, Grandpa. well, you're getting. You may uh, the audience may pick your self centering car seat, <laughs> three hundred and sixty degree rotating. You know, Christian. they couldn't. It doesn't self center because of him. He's got the patent on it. It can yeah. only. It doesn't ever. It doesn't. 
But I still think if they buy it, you should try it on your ball. Because you could spin <laughs> on, my on ball. your ball. You could, yeah, you could put it under your ball and, wow, you could go 360 in seconds. <laughs> I, I want to try some more of this helicopter. This thing is, I think I got, I've gotten good. I've been practicing. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I think I'm ready to, to, to do this one more time before we go. I just want to see if I can get this thing to float in the air and stay there. Do you think I can? Uh, I bet you can. All right, let's turn it on. And we're going to go up. You can't see it, but it's it's still doing it. Look at that! Oh, this Look is. Look at that! It's a. It's, oh, oh! I'm just. Oh, it's awe inspiring. <laughs> the music. Oh. I just say that the music oh, does quite add to it. Just, yes, it does. Oh, oh, <laughs> it makes it much oh, much more beautiful. dramatic. Oh. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Look at that! No hands. It's amazing. <laughs> it's incredible. This is crashing. Oh, dear. Anyway, wow. that's just... Mm, wow. The amount of fun you can get for $400 these days. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's a belated there it is. explosion. It's so, Dickie D, we had a lot of fun today. Want to thank your guest, Herb Flores, for visiting and... Shut Don't up. forget the what the heck is it game is Get. on. You only have a few more days. <laughs> Get. <laughs> Gizwiz.biz. That's the website. G-I-Z, W-I-Z dot B-I-Z. We're almost yes. to the end of October, and of course, that's yes. when this will all be and, over. And, and you'll be able to win the December issue of Mad Magazine. What the heck is that? It looks like In some sort of pipe fitting or something like that. The December issue, uh, who's on the cover of the December issue? Uh, the cover issue is the <laughs> Twilight issue. <laughs> I love it. With Alfred E. Newman as their love yes, child. Yes. And yes. I have the uh, four worst products ever from Brookstone in that issue. <laughs> well, we've got some inspiration here. Yes, I was going to say. <laughs> All you have to do is figure out what that is, what that thing is, and... Uh, the right answer gets 12. Uh, there's 12 autographed Mad Magazines for the right answer, 24 for the best, clever, incorrect answer. Can you not see my screen? Oh, no, there I, I had to uh, switch. There it is. The, the strange little pipe fitting thing there. What could that, whatever Thingy. could that be? Hmm. I give no hints. Hmm. I take no prisoners. Anybody got it right I yet? Why no planes? <laughs> uh, no, no one's got it right. You know, I don't. I just put them all in a folder, but from time to time I look, and there's some funny answers. I haven't seen anybody with the right answer yet. Huh? And if they have the right answer, I just erase them. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, kidding. <laughs> Dick, thanks so much. The Giz Fizz. Uh, did we? No, we actually recorded already on Saturday two segments with you. Yes, we did. So I think we're. I I don't know. I'll let you know if the Giz Fizz you is going to be right after the radio doing, show on Saturday. Or what are we doing when you're away? Are we just Skipping this? God only knows what we're doing when I'm away. Oh, okay. Because I we don't have even one care. More. I won't be here. <laughs> okay. So next, you're here next. Scott Tuesday, Wilkinson right? will be doing the show. I will. Oh, I'm here till uh, I don't leave uh, uh, till uh, November sixth. Uh, I think is the first day without. Oh, me. Oh, okay. Then we and, have who, and somebody else is hosting the show. Justin Robert Young. I had heard last oh, heard. That's a great idea. But it's been a while since I heard Funny that. Funny man, Justin Robert Young. You'll love him. Okay, great, great. You'll perfect, love him. Perfect, perfect. And, uh, yeah, so I think that makes sense. He'll be doing a couple of Giz Whizzes with you. And then we'll also uh, do the radio show so you can appear on the radio show if you want. We're not. Hey, hey thank so you, Dickie D. You're welcome, Leo. It was super fun. Very fun. And we'll see you next time on the Giz I'll Whiz. be here. <laughs>